Rebecca here with Tiny Acorn. So I have a very, very, very special guest. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> the one and only Abby from Closing Pizza. Hey, hey! I am so excited that Abby is here with me today. I remember when I found her Instagram, I got super excited inside because I felt like re-inspired because she wears all of the things that I want to be wearing but I'm not because I'm not like brave enough to. <laughs> you guys you need to check her out. At Closing Pizza on yeah. Instagram. I'm also here on YouTube at Closing Pizza mm -hmm. and I do video content on my IGTV as well. She has great content you guys. Go follow her and today what are we going to be doing? We are doing the ultimate thrifting guide to San Francisco today. Yes! We're actually going to be going to four different thrift stores today and we're going to be rating them in three different categories. First category is vintage selection. So that means how much vintage there is, what kind of quality you're going to find. Then we're going to be rating on prices, just like how good the prices are, if the prices make sense for the products. And then the third category is ambiance. So how clean the store is, what the dressing rooms are like, how much digging you have to do, how well merchandised it is. So at each thrift store we're gonna give ourselves a timer of 20 minutes for shopping and 10 minutes for trying on. Yes and so it's not very long 30 minutes at each thrift store. We're gonna be fast and efficient and hopefully find some good treasures. I'm going to link everything down in the description box for you. I'm going to put all of the addresses and all the thrift stores that we're going to today. I'm going to link all of Abby's info. Also, don't forget to like this video if you like it and subscribe if you guys haven't already. <laughs> Let's do this! Maybe Abby will like it. I totally looked at that. Yeah. But then I couldn't see a price on it. So know, it looks like somebody ripped the but price off. That is confirmation that I need it. You need it. Yeah. It's so you, it's so like feminine, a little bit of vintage. This is way me, right? Totally. <laughs> and I accidentally am wearing also wearing it, but like <laughs> the super 90s. I kind of impressed by the selection here. Me too. I found Actually, something for you. Ooh. Show me what you got. Whoa. I don't know, I feel like <gasps> it's a little like I uh, do. jasmine. And Genie and a lamp, but it's very beautiful. like a net from a vintage splendor too. But I feel I didn't like even see this when I pulled it. That's so cute. Yeah, I gotta try that on. Whoa, this little oh, vintage Halloween. vintage coat. Look at that. Twelve ninety nine. I don't know what I would be, but a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. San Francisco sweatshirt. Eleven dollars. Just found this little Madewell top. It's like unlike anything else I have. I feel like nowadays I have to, I can only buy things that like I don't already have. Because totally. I have so much stuff. And this is so, like I don't own anything like this. This is like the perfect outfit for hosting a dinner party. So cute. Ooh, yes. I, I see the like shoulders it's on so, you. Like, it's like very pretty. It's and like make feminine. It like yeah. So unique. Yeah. I guess I could always get it and then if I don't end up wearing it or reaching for it, I can always resell it. Just tried on this. This is a little Zara top. I think I'm going to get it. Here's this Meadwell blouse. It's cute. Okay. I am getting the mini backpack. Influenced by Erica because she's wearing one very similar right now. And then I'm also getting this like 90s leopard bag, the flouncy jumpsuit, and these creamy butter, super soft high waist trousers. 
So I decided to get this Madewell blouse. And this is Zara blouse. This coat. And this little purse. How much did you spend? 46, 42, 42. My total for everything came out to $36. The purse was ended up being $14.99, which I thought was really expensive, but I really liked it. Okay, so we just came out of the Geary Street Salvation Army and wish we had more time to look at all of the cool home stuff because there's a lot of cool home stuff in there. We were like, we're not gonna spend a ton of time trying stuff on. We wanna like survey everything mm -hmm. and then we get really carried away and we found a lot of good stuff. 20 minutes goes by fast, yeah. So we're thinking we might rate everything at the end. Now we are headed to the Goodwill on Haight Street which you've had a pop-up rack there yes, before. Yes, I had an event there in the summer and it was really fun, but the Goodwill on Haight Street is amazing. All right, let's go. 20 minutes and start. What I like about this Goodwill is they do like a vintage section. So I think this is the place to come for shirts because they have a ton of vintage shirts here that are really cool. Very into this purple. This is maybe like too crazy. I just found this. I think Abby would like it. Shrink. Pretty cool. This is cool with the embroidery, but it's fifteen dollars. I always try to buy sweaters like this for my husband, but then he never wears them. So I have this little cardigan on. It's really cute, but it's $20. $60. It's so, um... It's very worth it, but I don't know if I need it, you know? Penny Lane. So Penny Lane, exactly what I was going to say. Gosh, this is hard to pass up. The more I look at myself in it, the more I'm like, what? So cute. So cute. I think you should get it. You're a bad influence. <laughs> Our 20 minutes is up, but Abby's getting distracted. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. It's oversized for sure, and I wouldn't wear it on top of my leopard jumpsuit, but it could be just like kind of a cool layering, throw on piece. I like the way it looked when it was open too. Yeah, just wear it on top. This is cool. I'm getting, having very like art teacher vibes. Try it on this little number and Abby is stealing my <laughs> spotlight over there with that green dress because that's awesome. Slime, slime baby, slime. How much is it? It's 20 bucks. I think that's worth it. So Abby's got my pants on since so she didn't bring pants to try on, so I have no pants on. <laughs> but it's the dressing room of the traveling pants. Yes. I like that top. Super cute. Love the colors. This is something that I could like wear to work. I could just wear this whole outfit. I think I actually have these jeans. Yeah, love this. It's oversized, but it's still really cool. I think it goes well with no pants. But yeah, I would wear it just like this. <laughs> so I'm passing on this dress and I'm going to get this coat. What are you getting, Abby? Right, I'm getting the oversized animal print coat shirt thing. Also getting this very cool floral printed blouse. And then of course I'm getting the slime green incredible puff sleeve. Thank you. Thank you. I spent $54 on three pieces. Three pieces, but they're pretty epic. So when we got up to the register, Abby noticed that there was a spot on the leather jacket, and so she's like, hey, can we get a discount on this? I love her. And it worked? Yes. The guy gave it to me for only $50 instead of $60. Bucks. So 
I'm really happy. And now we're gonna take a taco break here. We just finished at the Goodwill on Haight Street. It was awesome. They have a great vintage selection, but they kind of pull all the vintage and put it into a separate area, which is really nice. I would say that first impressions, the prices are pretty high. So mm -hmm. we didn't really see anything that was less than like $14.99, yeah. which is pretty high for a thrift store. Although, you know, they're right on Haight Street. They have great real estate. There were a ton of people in there. So I think they can get away with pricing their stuff yeah. a little bit higher than normal. And now we're on our way to our third store. It's Community Thrift on Valencia in the Mission District. Uh, see you there. What are these? Amazing. I don't know if I can fit. Those are cool. Those are cool. Like classic black boots. Those are nice too. So Abby said these were too small in her. I'm going to try them on, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. They don't fit. I'm so sad. This is interesting. Little dress. $8.50. It's not vintage. So I'm getting kind of worried because we've already been here for 10 minutes and I haven't found anything yet. All right, this is the women's vintage section. Totally empty. This is cute. Little skirt. Here's the skirt, but the zipper is weird, so I'm not gonna get it. They are $55 a piece. They're vintage cane folding chairs, circa 1960s. We really need more chairs. And the fact that they fold is amazing for when we have more company. So the only thing I'm getting is this cute little tapestry purse. But look at the inside, you guys. Check that out. So cute. Yeah, that looks so cute. Very art teacher vibes. Mm -hmm. Get the art teacher necklace. And then I'm also getting four of those cane chairs, the folding chairs. Blowing my budget, but they're really good. How much did you spend? $250. Which is more than I wanted to spend, but... So I just looked at these chairs online, and it was $1,700 for six, and I just got four for like $220. So I spent $8, and I just got this purse. All right, so we just left Community Thrift here in the Mission. Thoughts? First reaction, it's a little disorganized. The prices were probably the lowest though of all the places we've gone to so far. It's not quite as merchandised as the other shops. Um, they did have a lot of furniture and it seemed like decent prices on the furniture, which was nice. There was no dressing room though. Ah, that is very important. So if you do go there, you're not gonna be able to try anything on. One thing that you said when we were in there that I thought was really a good point is it's not a destination thrift store. like. You might stop in if you're in the area. Yes, I wouldn't go out of my way necessarily. But if I was in the neighborhood and I had some time to kill, I would pop in and probably find something. But it's definitely not like a honeypot of mm -hmm. a thrift shop. I was a little discouraged because I literally found one thing to try on. Like I didn't find any clothes. Yeah. Found one skirt, didn't work. Um, the boots were a killer deal. I mean, if they would have fit, it would have been only $15. That's a really good deal for yeah. those awesome boots. We are on our way to our fourth and final location. Mm -hmm. This is another Salvation Army. Where is it? Where are we going? So it's on the other end of Valencia Street. So still kind of in that mission area. And this is our fourth and final stop. And then we'll be done. What a day. Yes. Little patch 
patchwork, little quilty patchwork, super on trend. Look at this gingham, pink gingham blazer. This is J. Crew, which I wouldn't How normally much? buy, but seven dollars. This yellow coat that I'm really excited about. Look at this weird little thing in the back. Ooh, cute. It's like orangey yellow. What would you call this? Marigold. Maybe like a clementine? I like this texture here. Yeah, me too. And then I found this little blouse. I love that. This is Amazing. This is so not how I would style this, but it fit. The queen of gingham. It's pretty cute. Yeah. Vintage. <gasps> so amazing. How much is it? $7. Oh. <gasps> That is like the find of the day, I think, for you. <laughs> Somebody just took my picture. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> because you're so cute and happy with your perfect shirt. Hmm. $8.99 for like a plain long sleeve shirt? I don't know. This is cute. This is like a skirt suit. Very sophisticated. Petite sophisticate. <laughs> it's cute, but I like don't know where I would wear it. It's kind of cool little jacket. It has some spots here. I think I'm gonna try it on anyway. Like way too oversized. Oh, the pocket. Oh, it's ripped. That's okay. Can fix it. Very cool color. Right. Tangerine. Tangerine, there it is. That's really fun. I really like it. It's a gorgeous it's color, I know. Crazy color. I really like this. I think I'm gonna get it. So cute. Just very classic and chic. I love this material. It's so cool. Also, the dressing rooms were closed like 10 minutes ago, so that's why I turned it on. Oh, Alright, found these pants. They kind of look like menswear trousers, but they're, they're definitely so women's. So cute. They're pretty lightweight, which is nice because it doesn't get that cold here. So you can kind of do like a pleated trouser without it being super heavyweight. These are cool too. Let's see if we can do the neck trick. They'll fit. They won't be too big. They're pretty cute. It's like kind of cropped. It's terry cloth material. Little three quarter sleeve action. So cute. This is absolutely your find of the day. I don't know. You've gotten a lot of good things today. That the leather jacket with the fur. Honestly, I think I'm more excited about this. Because you'll wear that so much more. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the sleeves. I cannot. I cannot handle this. I'm losing it's my mind a little bit. Mean. It's endearing and I like of being it. A defect. It's I like, like oh, it. It's been worn, you can tell like, it's vintage. Like it's the not... subtle texture. this on over something, you know? So this blouse is super cute, but it does have a tear. I wonder if I could get a discount though because of that. And it'd be super easy to fix on my sewing machine, so. All right, these are my two that I'm going with. I'm getting the Terry Cloth uh, Kids shirt, long sleeve. And then I'm also gonna get these like cool checkered pants. I'm gonna pass on the pinking of King of Blazer. I just think the color is not super wearable for me. It's funky and it's cool, but I don't think I would get that much wear out of it. All right, so I decided to get the brown top. It is $9, but I might ask for a discount. I'm gonna get the red dress. I'm really excited about this one. It has a little spot on it though, so I'm hoping that it'll wash off. And for only $9, I'm gonna get the Tangerine Dream. Because it's like Creamsicle. Creamsicle. What's the name <laughs> we're gonna stick with? Because it's just everything. Yeah, I think it'll be fun to style up. I know why it's $8. There's no button. 
So easy to fix. So I can just go to the store and you know, pick out what buttons I want on it. So. The piece de resistance. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. So cute. I love everything about it. It was made for you. Time to check out. How much did you spend? I spent ten seventy four. Nice. How much did you spend? So I asked that guy for a discount on the polka dot blouse and he gave it to me for $1.75 instead of $9. So that was a score. So all together, I got all four of these for only 20 bucks. <laughs> okay, so we just got done with our last thrift store overall thought. Uh, I think that this was maybe my favorite. I think both the Salvation Armies were actually my favorite. Yeah, me too. In terms of like selection, the ambiance, the prices. I feel like we got good stuff, good deals, and it was like, you know, relatively clean. Yeah. I 100% agree. Let's go ahead and start rating. We're doing one out of five stars. Let's go back to the Salvation Army on Geary Street. For that one, the vintage selection there, what did we score it? We scored it as a three. Had pretty good vintage, um, but it's all interspersed, so they don't have a separate section yeah. for you have to kind of hunt for it. But for prices, we're scoring it a little bit lower, like maybe a two. There, It was a little inconsistent. We felt like some things yeah. were overpriced, some things were priced pretty well, but the few things were very surprised at how high the prices were. The purses especially. You paid, what, $17 paid $17 for that, for that backpack? Black backpack, which I really wanted it, but I think it was a little overpriced. And then the purse that I got ended up being $14, which was kind of like, ugh. But I really liked it, so yeah. I got it anyways. Yeah. And then for ambiance, we're giving it a four. It was decently well organized, not like dirty. You didn't really have to dig, which is nice. I really liked how they had the clothing upstairs and then all of the houseware stuff downstairs. I don't know, I just liked how it was like separated because then you didn't have as many people like around you going through stuff. Yeah, agreed. So our final thought for the Salvation Army on Geary is go there for home goods and mm -hmm. decor. They had a ton of home goods. We mostly did went through the clothing, which is upstairs, but they had, of all the places we went today, they had the most like, housewares and, and furniture. Yeah, so home decor, but also you will get some good clothes there. So definitely check out the clothing section as well. Okay, the next one. The next the one Goodwill is on hate. Goodwill on Hate. For vintage, we gave it a five. It had lots of vintage. It had its yeah. own section. It was really easy to find. Mm -hmm. For ambiance, we gave it a three. It was decently organized, um, not dirty, but they only had two dressing rooms, which has, was a little bit frustrating. There was a long yeah. line. And there's a lot of tourists in there because everyone's going to Hate Street in San Francisco. So it was like pretty packed. And, and that's, we also gave it a two on prices because it's mm -hmm. so touristy and so popular. Everything was a little bit overpriced. It was pretty overpriced. Although I got that coat for 50 bucks at the end of the day. And if you were to go on any other vintage store and find that same jacket on Hate Street, it probably would have been like $200. So kind of a Some good deals. All right, community thrift. That was our third one. Mm -hmm. This is the place that I think was our least favorite out of everything. Yeah. For vintage, we gave it a one. It was really hard to find stuff. There were signs for like the women's vintage, men's vintage, and there was like barely anything on the rack there, which yeah. I thought was really sad. You didn't even try anything on no, there. No, I didn't try anything. Yeah. They didn't have dressing rooms either, so. Yeah. Uh, for prices, we gave it a three. You know, even though it was hard to find stuff, like the prices were still mm -hmm. pretty low. Um, and then for ambiance, we gave it a one. Again, it was mm. not very organized, hard to find. Kind of dirty. Um, and then final thoughts for community thrift are go there for furniture. They had a lot of yeah. good furniture and home stuff. They have a lot of records too. Yeah, but not a lot of clothing. Mm -hmm. Last one was Salvation Army on Valencia Street. And for that one, we scored it a three yeah, on... three for vintage. We scored it a three for vintage. It's kind of like your typical thrift store where, like, there's no vintage section, but you will find some gems hidden in mixed with everything. What I like about that is that they don't overprice things just because it's vintage. They, like, price it at the regular amount as every other thing in the store. Yeah, I like that, too. For pricing, we gave it a four. Mm -hmm. We thought it had totally decent pricing, you know, not super, super, super cheap, which would be a five. Um, but probably the best pricing of the day. Yeah. And then for ambiance, we also gave it a four. It's really big. It's really mm -hmm. roomy. It has a lot of space. So you're yes. not like running into people yeah. and digging through piles. Uh, and it was really clean. Except it was kind of annoying that they only had one tiny little full length mirror yeah. in the whole clothing area. And they had closed down the dressing rooms early. 
And so we had to crowd with other people around the one mirror. But yeah. But it was good. Yeah. yeah. I would say this one's the first. The Salvation piece. Armies were my favorite. So Salvation Armies definitely up there. Which yeah. one do we like the best? I like this last one that we were at the best, I think. Yeah, I think clothes. they're both good. Both yeah. good. Both definitely on our list. The Goodwill on Hate, uh, I would go there. Like, it's it's fun. You There's a lot of good stuff there. It's just a little bit pricier. Yeah. And then Community Thrift, honestly, I'd skip it unless you're yeah. in the neighborhood. Yeah, totally. Yeah, so that is our thrift guide for San Francisco. And I hope it's helpful for you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, Tiny Acorn right here. Hop over to Instagram. I'm at Clothes and Pizza. Give me a yes, follow. Definitely. And she's also on YouTube, guys. So go subscribe to her. Show her some love. She's amazing. She's always posting amazing content. So inspiring, you guys. And what is left to say except for... Just remember you're beautiful just the way you are. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.